Hello everyone, we're testing the Hornady Critical Defense in 380 Auto 90 grain FTX. I'll be using the SimTest Ballistic Media and four layers of denim. Critical Defense seems to be a very popular cartridge in all its various calibers. It is a low recoil, low muzzle flash cartridge. It has a cantilever. You can see there where the bullet meets the brass. That is designed to help prevent bullet setback. With bullet setback, you're going to increase pressure in the cartridge, and that's going to happen, or could happen, if you consistently load the same cartridge uh, into the chamber of your handgun, and pushing that bullet back is going to increase pressure and could cause some problems. So uh, be aware of that. I guess the most important characteristic of this, or one of the most important, and you probably already know this, is that red rubber tip that Hornady has uh, inserted down into the hollow point cavity. So there is a cavity there, but that red tip is designed to ensure that nothing gets in that cavity uh, that could prevent expansion of the bullet. Clogging of the hollow point cavity and failure for JHPs to expand is a leading cause of bullet failure. In that case, it acts like a full metal jacket and uh, that could cause some problems. Also, this red tip is designed to enhance uniform expansion. So we're going to see if that is the case in our sim test media that is calibrated to ballistic gel specs. I'll have four layers of denim over that. Test gun is the Bursa Thunder 380 Plus. That is a three and a half inch barrel. I'll be shooting from 10 feet. You're going to see my chronograph specs next, followed by the test shot. There's the point of entry, and as expected, it stayed in the block. Here's the bullet path. The entry was here. That's uh, denim right there. I thought it might be a powder burn, but that's some denim fiber. Starting about half inch right here to roughly four and a half inches, something I was really surprised to see is the uh, dimensions of this stretch cavity. It's running about four inches, and I was not expecting that with the bullet weighing approximately 90 grains and moving less than 1,000 feet per second. But that's pretty impressive. And you can obviously see that we're starting to get some expansion in this area. The track continues on as the bullet uh, stabilizes somewhat, running a straight path. Didn't deviate off to one side or another. And there it is. Looks like uh, the pedals are peeled all the way back. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. And if I'm not mistaken, there is the red tip. Quite impressive. That stayed with the bullet continued all the way through the path, which is 11.25, 11 and a quarter inches. Before I peel this away from the media, I want to give you a close-up. Again, the pedals peeled all the way back, and you can see that red plug carried all the way with it. There's one of your measurements, 0.439, but the average is 0.436. Including the plug, our weight is coming in at 90.3 grains. I hope you felt this review was beneficial as you evaluate your ammo choices for 380 ACP. Thanks for watching.